Hello everyone, it's Patrick with Lone Wolf Software and we're going to do a video here on Automotive Wolf Car Maintenance Software. So I've had some users ask questions about the gauges in Automotive Wolf, how to assign them to maintenance requirements and how they relate to the what's due list. So basically the gauges are just a way for you to quickly visually see the status of any maintenance requirement that you create or any of the maintenance requirements that you've assigned to your vehicles. Uh, there are three kinds of gauges in Automotive Wolf. On the left pane here, we have the uh, vehicle status gauge, which, cut, which basically lets you know the overall health of your vehicle. And this gauge is based on all the maintenance requirements that you have enabled for that particular vehicle. And if you click on the little button above it, you'll see a little pop-up that gives you a quick look of exactly what maintenance requirements are affecting the status of that vehicle health status gauge. And you can see here the air filter is currently using 9.51%, is, is the antifreeze 4.92%. So all the requirements that you have enabled for your vehicle are going to affect the overall status of that gauge. So if you actually click on this little button and click on the status gauge details, you'll see a breakdown, an itemized list breakdown of all the different requirements that are affecting that gauge. And you can... Uh, you can um, make changes to the requirements and that will affect that the status of that gauge, the overall status of that gauge. So you can control this gauge for each, each of your vehicles by just changing the requirements and um, when, when the requirements need to be updated, uh, when they're due, dates and distances, things like that will all affect this gauge. So it just gives you an overall view of the health of your vehicle. It's a really important gauge to keep an eye on. When it shows in the poor range, um, you've definitely got some maintenance requirements that need to be addressed. Uh, below the vehicle's health status gauge, you have three filter gauges, air, fuel, and oil. Again, pretty important gauges. Um, when they're green, of course, the gauge is okay. As, and as the vehicle is driven, the, the gauge uh, indicators here will continue to increase. And if you see red, of course, the filter needs to be changed. And you can affect these gauges, too, by editing that particular maintenance requirements. So if you edit the fuel filter maintenance requirement or the oil filter maintenance requirement, it'll affect this display of this gauge. Okay, the other thing that um, in Automotive Wolf is you have individual maintenance requirements, requirement gauges. So on uh, this vehicle, we have a Mazda right now on the screen. If you click on the what's due list, on the right side of the what's due list, you see the gauge cluster. Now right now we have four gauges enabled for this car. Now the standard version of Automotive Wolf allows you to have assigned six gauges to your maintenance requirements. The pro version is unlimited. You can uh, uh, assign as many as you want. So we have four gauges here and of course it's a quick way again to see the status of these maintenance requirements. And if you, for example, there's three ways really to add gauges for a maintenance requirement. And we'll go through all three of them here real quickly. One is you can come over here and click on the configure maintenance requirements button and you'll see uh, this is kind of an overall configuration for the vehicle and uh, right here under the options box you have a little check mark you can add to add a gauge and that will add a gauge for that requirement so that's one way to do it you can also go into the what's due list and here we see the what's due list and quickly just so you remember the requirements here in yellow are inspections the ones in red are actual maintenance items that you need to you know take care of and the ones in blue are user defined and you can um, if you click on the column header, you can sort these by, of course, I just clicked on the type. So now you see all the inspections are at the top, then you have the maintenance requirements, and then you have some of the user-defined requirements. So if you want to add a gauge, let's say for, we want to add a gauge for the check turbo boost pressure, you can just right click on it, select edit, select the requirement, and then you'll see a little option here, display a gauge for this requirement. So let's go ahead and do that. And you'll see now the we have the gauge right here, check turbo boost pressure um, enabled. Now you see the gauges change to half gauges because of course, if I opened up this window larger, we could get the large full gauge back again. But because the window is kind of small right now, it's just, you, it's just choosing automatically these half gauges. And the other way you can assign gauges is just to come down here under the what, when you have the what's due list selected, there's a gauge button right here. If you just click on that, you can select any of the gauges from any of the requirements that are currently enabled for this vehicle. And let's just choose the, uh, let's choose the, uh, I guess, how about the spark plug wires? 
the plates. And if you just click Add Gauge, click OK, now we'll see the gauge has been added. So that's one way that those are three different ways you can add gauges to these um, to this vehicle. Now, the Pro version, and that's what I'm running right now. The Pro version lets you actually change the gauge clusters to what we call scrollable gauges. So if you just come up to the Preferences menu up here, um, under Gauges, and let's see, we want to go to uh, Requirement Gauges. What's the window? So right now we have the analog six gauges cho chosen. If you have the pro version, you'll be able to choose the scrollable. So let's choose that. And you see immediately that the gauge cluster has changed to a completely different kind of from completely different kind of gauge. And you can now you can add as many requirements as you like and assign them to gauges. It's basically unlimited. You can assign a gauge to every requirement you have on that vehicle if you want to. That's one of the things the Pro version allows is this unlimited gauges. And you can change the way these gauges look, again, by just going under the Preference menu, Scrollable Gauges, and for instance, we can go to Gauge Type 0 Full. So you see the gauge cluster here has changed. Um, change it to one more gauges, Scrollable Gauges, and we go to Segmented Gauges. So there's another kind of gauge you can see. And these gauges, as you add them, let's add a couple more, will actually start to scroll. So we'll add a couple, we'll add a few more gauges here. How about um, inspect CV boots? And let's see, we'll choose another one here. Um, differential fluid. And now you see that the gauge cluster is actually scrollable. So you can scroll up and down the gauge cluster. And of course, anything in red is going to be due now. So that's that's an issue that you need to deal with now. Anything in green, of course, is fine. Yellow means it's starting to get a little bit closer to where you're going to need to, to deal with it. But anything in red automatically is it. So it's really a fast way to see what needs to be done in your vehicle. And in this vehicle right now, we see right away red. We need to replace the differential fluid, inspect the CV joints, check the turbo boost pressure. So that's a really, really great way and a really quick way just to see what is due on your vehicle right now. Um, basically, the again, the gauges are all, will change depending on what the status of that requirement is. So, um, for instance, uh, let's see, this top gauge is antifreeze coolant check level. Um, if you go to if you go to the what's do list, now we see it's green, so you're going to have to click on this pending button, and if you see antifreeze coolant, check level, if you just edit that requirement, you will change when that gauge, that, what that gauge, you know, current setting is going to, is going to be displayed. So I won't do that right now, but of course, if I can make, if I make this do now, well, let's do that. So right now, um, it's due at 195,000. This vehicle's at 193. So let's just change that. So let's say, let's make it do now, 193,000. Click OK. And you'll see that this gauge now is suddenly gone to do, and it's in red. So again, that tells you that it was it's it's immediately due, and you should go ahead and check the antifreeze coolant level. So that's pretty much it for the gauges. Um, you can also short change the this vehicle status gauge to a different kind of gauge. We have a uh, different uh, gauges here under gauges, vehicle health status gauge. You have different four different kind of gauges you can display. I prefer this one with the gradient. Um, but that's pretty much how the gauges uh, relate to your maintenance requirements. Um, the Pro version allows you the scrollable gauges, as many gauges as you'd like. So it's a really fast way to see what's due. And that's it for this video. And look forward to uh, the next video. And thanks for listening. Bye.